are in this video I will give an overview of Simulink uh, so Simulink is an add-on package to MATLAB and you need to have MATLAB in order to use Simulink and Simulink is uh, typically used uh, for simulation of uh, dynamic systems and in Simulink you create uh, graphical uh, block diagrams for the system uh, based on the differential equations for the dynamic systems so here you see an example uh, of such a system so this is a um, differential equation that is implemented as a block diagram in Simulink Uh, so uh, you start Simulink uh, from the MATLAB environment so you can either just type Simulink in the command window or from the from the toolbar on the home you can just click on the Simulink sim symbol or icon in the toolbar then will the Simulink uh, start page appear like this and then you ha have uh, different options uh, but in general you just select a blank model like this so click on this one and then this uh, Simulink model editor uh, appears so here is just a blank um, diagram where you can start creating your model and then you need to find um, these blocks you need to include in your model and then you can just click here on this symbol or icon this library browser and this um, library browser appears and here you can find um, all available blocks that are present in Simulink so either you can search for a specific block or you can click here in different topics commonly used blocks uh, sync sources um, continuous system blocks discrete system blocks etc so when you click here um, those blocks in that category appears here and then you can just drag uh, the block you need onto the um, Simulink model uh, editor here you see a very sim uh, simple Simulink model I have created which we will create later from scratch uh, here I have just used the sine wave block and then I have used a scope and then you can uh, start the simulation clicking this uh, this um, run button and then here you can set the time for the simulation in this case uh, uh, 10 seconds so after 10 seconds you can click on the scope and then you will see the results from your simulation like this this is one example uh, here you see another example uh, a little bit more uh, advanced I've used a sine wave I've use the transport delay block and integrator block and all of these I have, uh, I'm showing the output for from uh, all of these blocks in a scope and then you see here I have a, this sign in the transport delay you see we got this uh, delay before the sign starts and then the integrator then you see it integrates uh, uh, the sign uh, wave like this so let's see uh, how we can create these simple examples in Simulink. So in MATLAB we can just type uh, Simulink here in the command window or we can click on the icon, Simulink icon like this and then this Simulink start page appear. So in the Simulink uh, start page you can just click this uh, blank model and then this um, Simulink editor appears like this so in the beginning it's just a blank uh, diagram but then you can click on uh, the library browser here and then this window appears the Simulink library browser and then you can either search for a block or you can click here on the different topics or categories so here in continuous we have the most used Look for continuous simulation we have the integrator PID controller we have time delay transfer function block uh, etc in the commonly used blocks we have uh, a 
set of, um, of uh, popular blocks um, sum, product, saturation, gain, constant, etc. So just click here in order to look for the blocks you need. Or if you know the name for the block, you can just search for it. So let's say you want a scope, then you can just write scope, click enter. Then the search uh, results appear here, and then you can just drag and drop the block you want into the Simlink uh, model editor like this. So let's start creating our uh, first simple uh, Simlink. So we are going to create this simple model with a sign and a scope, and then we can see the output in the scope when the simulation is finished. Uh, so we can go to the um, a library a browser to find the um, design and just search for it and then we have different signs here or another approach is to just click here on the diagram and just start uh, entering the name of the block in this case scope and then a list of available blocks appears and then you can just click on the block you need uh, like this and then you have the block here. So then this is the scope. I have already the scope here. If I need the sign, I can just click, start typing sign, like this. And you have it there. Uh, you have different types of sign blocks. So I want this um, sine wave, this one. So then I can just put them together like this, and I can just click on the output here and then just wire them together using this uh, this wiring tool like this and then I can specify here the, the stop time of the simulation I just leave it for 10 seconds and then I can start the simulation just clicking this uh, run button and when the simulation is finished I can just double click on the scope and you see the output of the simulation in the scope like this. So this is how you basically create a very simple um, model in, uh, in Simulink. Next we will create this example from scratch. Then here we have a sine wave, a transport delay, an integrator and three scopes uh, like this. So let's create this example as, as well in Simulink. So then you just click and then type sign, then find the sine wave, we need the transport delay, just find it here in the list, we need an integrator, just select it like this, and then we need this uh, scope. So here, if you need more scope, we can also just copy them, and like this, holding the control uh, key down in order to make a copy like this and then we can start wiring so the output here should go to this scope and then the output should also go to this uh, transport delay so here we can click hold the control button down while we do the wiring like this same here you can hold the control uh, sorry you can just click undo so hold the control button down while you just wire them together like this and the output here should go to this scope and the output here should go to this scope like this. So this is our model and then you can uh, or our Simulink uh, block diagram and then we can just uh, click the run button after the simulation is finished we can open these scopes so here we have this sine wave here we have a sine wave with the transport delay and here we have the results after the integrator block like this the next example we want to simulate a simple and dynamic uh, system so here we have the differential equation for the system 
and the block diagram can be written like this. So here we have the output x and then we have this feedback a and then we use the integrator block in order to integrate the derivative like this. So here we have x derivative and here we have x after the, the integrator block. So this is the block diagram we are going to create in Simulink. And we need to enter these model parameters as well. A is equal to minus one about T, where T is the time constant of the system. Uh, here we have the initial value equals to one. And we want to simulate it from uh, t equals to 0 to, to 25 seconds. So let's go to Simlink and uh, create this uh, mathematical model. So in our model we need this integrator. So you just click and type integrator. You find it in the list. We need a gain block. So you just click and start entering gain. You find it in the list. And also we want a scope like this. So then we have the integrator, a scope on this gain. And then we can start uh, creating our block diagram by wiring the blocks together. So the output of the integrator should go to the scope. So here we have uh, the output uh, x. We can also uh, enter comments, so you just uh, like this, we can enter comments in our block diagram. So we can enter comment uh, by just double clicking where we want the comment to appear. So here, the output here should be x, so then we can add it like this. Here on, on the left side, it's um, the derivative of x, so dx uh, dt, like this. And also the output here should go to the um, go to the gain in, into a feedback like this. So then you see the gain is the input is um, on the left and the output is on the right, but in our block diagram. So let's go back to the block diagram. Remember uh, the feedback goes this way, so the input should be on the right side and the output should be on the left side. So then we can just uh, click uh, on the right click on the symbol and then we can select uh, rotate and flip and then we can just select flip block and then you see uh, the input will be on the right side and the output will be on the left side. And then we can just Hold the control button down and then wire to the input like this and then do the same on the output like this. So this is our block diagram. Now we just need to set some uh, model parameters. So in the, the gain, as you remember from the model, uh, this gain block A is equal to minus 1 about t and in our, our case t is equal to 5 so here we should uh, have 1 min uh, divided by 5 so it's minus uh, 1.2 in this case then you can just uh, double click on the gain block and select the value so minus 1.2 and then click, just click OK, and then you see the value appear here in, in the block. Next, the initial value for our simulation should be 1. So we set this value in the integrator block. We just double click on it, and then you have this initial condition, which should be set to 1 in our case, and just click OK, like this. And now our block diagram should be finished, and then we can start the simulation. Just click the Run button. And when the simulation is finished, we can click on the scope. But there was one thing we didn't change, this uh, end time. So in the assignment, we should simulate from 0 to 25. And then you can just click here and type 25 instead. And then run the simulation one more. And then in the scope here, double click on it. We will see the simulation results. So here is the starting point, the initial value. 
and then after a while, after 20 seconds, uh, we get this uh, plot of the simulation. So this is how we plot, uh, implement and plot uh, dynamic systems in Simulink. So let's summarize, this is how we create the block diagram in uh, Simulink. And you can simulate by clicking the run button and then you see the simulation results in the scope in this case like this if you would do the same simulation in matlab we would uh, get something like this so this is how we would do it in uh, matlab we would uh, need to create a function for our differential equation in one script file and then in another script file we need to to set the t-span, an initial value, and then we need to use one of the built-in solvers, in this case ODE23, and then it's the first input is the name of the model, uh, name of the function, which is defined in this file, and then the t-span and the initial value like this. And then you can plot, plot it, and as you see, we will of course get the same results as we would do it in MATLAB or in uh, Simulink. In the next example, we will simulate a bacteria population. So we will simul simulate a simple model of a bacteria population in a jar. And then model for this is as follows. So the birth rate is equal to Bx, where x is the number of bacteria. And the death rate is equal to Px square. And then the total change of uh, bacteria population is uh, as follows in it can be described in the following differential equation so x dot equal to bx minus px squared like this and in our simulation we will set the b which is just a constant equal to 1 and the p which is also a constant equal to 0 0.5 and then we want to simulate the number of bacteria after one hour so the end time of our simulation will be one hour um, our initial value will be 100 uh, bacteria. So in the beginning of the simulation there will be 100 bacteria present. And then we will see how many bacteria there are left after one hour. As you may remember from some earlier video, uh, we did this simulation in MATLAB. And in MATLAB we do it like this. So we create a function where we implement the differential equation and we set and the model parameters like this and then we create a new script where we set the t-span initial value and then we use one of the built-in solvers in this case ODE45 and then as the first input we set the name of our function or model which is defined here and the t-span and x initial value and then we can plot it using the plot command like this and then we get in this case this simulation results. So how would we do this simulation in MATLAB? First, we need to create a block diagram for our model. So it's a good uh, idea to start creating this block diagram model of our differential equation just using pen and paper or something. So that's what I have done here. So this is a block diagram of this differential equation which is so on on this page. So this is the differential equation we want to implement in Simulink. And this is the block diagram for this differential equation. So we have need to have an integrator block. We need to have some gain blocks for the constants P and B. And also P. We need to also include this um, x square block like this. And also uh, we need a summation po uh, point or a summation block like this. So let's see if you are able to find these blocks in Simulink. Um, let's try to implement this model in Simulink. So we start with an empty Simulink model uh, using the Simulink editor. And then we can either find the blocks we need in a Simulink library browser or we can just click here in order to find the blocks we need. So we need this, uh, we start with the integrator, just type integrator. 
then select the integrator uh, we need the scope and the scope block so the output of the integrator should go to this uh, scope and then we need the two gain blocks for b and p so you type just gain and find these gain blocks and the same here we need to uh, to switch the input and output so you can just right click and select rotate and flip and flip the block like this so this is um, b we can just double click to enter a comment so this is b and then we can copy it holding the control key down so just hold the control key down in order to copy it so this one is uh, this double click and then we can set this is the p block so this uh, b should be equal to one we can just double click and by default it's one so it's okay while this p should be 0 0.1 so we can double click on it and type 0 0.5 i mean 0 0.5 like this And then we need a summation block. So select the sum like this. And then we can hold the control key down while we put it wire from the input here. And then the output here should go to the uh, summation block. And the same here. As you see on our model. We need this um, square block or as it called in Simulink product. So you can just search for product. So you find the product in the list. And the same here, we need to have the inputs on the left. So we can just right click on it, select rotate and flip, flip block. And then we can hold the control key down while we wire to the inputs here like this and then the output should go to the input of p and then the output here should go to this summation but as you see from our block diagram this should be minus so then we can just double click here and then select instead of plus plus you can select minus plus like this and then this will change to minus and then we are almost finished just the output here should go to the integrator block so here on output we have x and here we have dx dt like this and this one is x square so this is um, our, basically our model and then we need to set these um, simulation parameters so we should uh, simulate in one hour and the initial value should be 100 so we set the initial value here on the integrator so this initial condition then should be 100 and the initial uh, sorry the simulation time should be one one hour and then i think we are finished then we can just click run simulation and when the simulation finished we can double click on the scope and then you see the simulation results so we got the same simulation results as we got previously in uh, the matlab simulation so then it's a good proof that we have uh, uh, created this uh, correct um, model in sim in simulink and enter the correct values In the next example, I will introduce something called uh, data-driven modeling. Uh, in this case, we will combine uh, MATLAB and Simlink. Um, so you may use Simlink together with MATLAB, and then you, you can specify um, the model parameters uh, in a script in MATLAB instead. Uh, so then we just enter uh, variables in our uh, Simlink model and then we enter values for these variables in the MATLAB script 
and this is called uh, data-driven modeling. And the purpose of this is to, uh, or the advantages with this is to, to make it more flexible because we can easily change uh, the simulation parameters within uh, our MATLAB script without uh, touching or editing uh, the Simlink model. So if you see our previous example, this uh, simple uh, differential equation. Um, so here, instead of a specific value here, we can just type the name of the variable, in this case a, and here, the initial value, we can just type the name of the variable, in this case, we can just set x0, and then next we save this simulink model, and then next we will create a MATLAB script that we, uh, where we um, enter the simulation parameters like this, and then we will use this um, this function in order to to set what kind of solver we will use, etc. Time, uh, time interval or sampling time, and then we will use the sim function in order to, to start the simulation, and then the first parameter will be the name of the Simulink model, and the stop time for the simulation, and these simulation option, options that we set with this sim set uh, function. So let's uh, create this example in uh, Simulink. So then in uh, Simulink, we start creating the model. Uh, we need this. Uh, we made it pre previously, but I make it once more. So then we need this um, integrator block. We need uh, scope, and then we need this um, uh, gain block, like this. And then. We wire them together, we need to change the direction here, rotate and flip, and then output here should go to the scope, and then feedback uh, like this. So this is our model, and then we can set here on the gain, we can set this A as a model parameter. And then here on the integrator, we can set this initial condition to x0, uh, like this. And then next, we just click the save. And then we save our model. The name, we can just call it uh, Simulink model, like this. So now our, our Simulink model finished, and then we go to, to MATLAB to create this uh, script. And then we can just click New Script, and then start entering uh, these settings. We start with X0, which would be the start uh, the initial condition, equals to 1. This time constant should be equal to 5. And then a would then be minus one above t like this, and then t stop the stop of the simulation time would be twenty five seconds, and then the sampling time or the sampling interval you can call it t s is then t stop divided by thousand, and then we use these uh, options. Sim set. Then we just type these settings. This is solver. Need to say, say, uh, select the solver, solver file, fix step simulation, and then finally this T S for sampling time. 
if you need more, inf more information about these parameters, you can just type help simset in the command window. And then next, uh, we start the simulation with the sim command. And then first the name of the simulink model, which was um, simulink underscore model. Next parameter t t stop and then these options parameters which you have defined here. This should be everything. Then you should just uh, save it. Save the script with a name. You can just call it um, simulink simulation example and then uh, we can run it and then we can go back to our model and then we can see see the output here so we just uh, run the script and then we can open the scope and then you can see the simulation results here in the scope so then you can easily, if you have this uh, scope open, then you can easily change some of the simulation parameters. So let's say the initial value is instead of one is two. Then you just run the simulation once more. And then you see the scope was updated. Now the initial value is two. You can change the t to 10, run the simulation. And then see the updated simulation results like this. You can change the t stop, uh, the sampling interval, etc. So, then you, as you can see, we can easily change all these uh, settings from the script and then, then just run it. And then we will see the updated, uh, and see the updated results in this, um, in this uh, scope like this. So, this is. Uh, um, data-driven simulation where we use a combination of uh, Simulink so we create uh, the model in Simulink and then we create a script in Simulink where we um, run the simulation from uh, this uh, MATLAB script and then you can easily see the updated simulation, re simulation results in this uh, scope. In the next example, we will uh, perform a simulation for the so-called mass spring damper system, uh, which is given by this uh, second order differential equation, where in this equation x is the position, x dot is speed, and x uh, double dot is uh, the acceleration. And then you can see in the system here, this typical mass spring damper system, where you have a mass, where, and where you have a damper, and then you have this uh, spring and then you will perform some uh, force to M and then based on that it will uh, oscillate up and down and then so this is what we want to simulate so we want to implement this second order differential equation in Simulink and then we will use this um, data-driven approach where we create the model in Simulink and then we will implement the model parameters in a MATLAB script. But first we need to create a block diagram for this uh, model. And the bo block diagram uh, looks something like this. So this is the block diagram we want to implement in uh, MATLAB. So we have an integrator. We have these constants C K, we have the mass, and then another integrator, since we have the uh, x double dot here, and then f, the force, we will just uh, use a step in the force, and then we will observe the simul simulation results in a scope uh, like this. So let's see if we are able to create this simulation, uh, sorry, a Simulink model or this uh, block diagram in uh, Simulink. So let's start our start to create our Simulink model. 
then we could start with the integrators so let's find some integrator we need in this case we need uh, two Um, like this and then we need uh, some constants we need m c and k which is uh, three different constants and then we can use this uh, constant uh, block so we need m we need uh, c and k so i can just double click to name them so this is uh, m Uh, this is uh, C and this is uh, K so the val values for these constant we will define them later in the in the MATLAB script we can define some initial values for the integrators we can use a constant for that as well Here on input on integrator we need this initial value. We can call it um, dx dt init. Since since we have here on the um, So we have here on the output of this integrator we have um, x so we have here we have x um, the position on here we have um, dx dt the speed and then here on this side we have um, um, the acceleration d dx2 dt uh, like this this is just comments we can add to our block diagram to make it more readable so then the output here should go to to this integrator and then the output here we should um, plot it in a scope like this and then uh, this initial value we need to wire it uh, to the int uh, integrators and we also need an um, initial value here we can call this um, x init like this and then we can double click on integrators and then external uh, here initial condition source we can select this to in external and then you see we get this uh, second input which you can wire like this and you can do the same here double click initial condition source external and then then we got this um, uh, initial value like this and then the output um, from here so these also need to be multiplied so you need some um, multiply blocks so we need some uh, multiply blocks or in Simlink we call it uh, product so we need one here we need one here and we need one here like this and also here uh, since this, uh, it will be feedback then we need to just change the direction right click rotate flip block and the same here flip block right click flip block and right click flip block on all these uh, these uh, blocks these are correct then we can start the wiring so then output here should go to 
input to this product block and then you can wire this constant like this And then the output here should go to this product block and then the constant should be multiplied here and then here we need a summation block so here we need this summation block and this should have um, a right click on it we need one plus and two minus so plus minus minus uh, like this so then the output here should go to this one the output here should go to the next minus and then this last input should be this uh, force f and uh, so then we can find this uh, step step block so here so the output this is f and then you can just double click to comment it F like this and then the output here should go to to this product block and then it should be multiplied with um, M and then the output here should go into the integrator like this So now we are almost finished with our block diagram. So then here we we plot x, which is um, so x is the position. Just make it as a comment, and this is um, speed. And this is the acceleration. Like this. So then here we um, we have a scope for the position. We can also have a um, scope for the speed. We can create a new. scope here and we can also have a scope for the um, acceleration like this you have the force here you can have a scope for this one as well like this so now we will um, see when we simulate it, we will see plot for the position, speed, acceleration, and this uh, force. So I guess now we are finished with our um, um, Simulink model. And then we can just save it. Clicking the save icon. And again, you can call it um, mass spring damper model like this and now we can go to to matlab in order to enter these uh, simulation parameters so you just create a new script i can copy some from the previous example so we need this um, these options and, and the simulation so i just copy these two lines like this So this is the options, which should be the same as previously. And then the simulation, this is the name of the simulation, the Simulink model. So this was mass spring damper model, and the rest should be equal. And then next, now we can start entering these uh, simulation parameters. You can have x init equal to in is the start value for um, for x you could just set it to 4 the start value for d x dt 
init so this is the, sp the speed should could be zero we can change these simulation parameters later m we can set it to mass to 20 or something c constant c equals to 4 k we just set it to 2 Um, and the force you can set it since it's a step um, set this to step so this is 50 and the fo force so this is uh, the length of the step uh, step if, uh, uh, 50 seconds um, and the start value so the force is um, zero and then the stop value uh, or the force value you can set it to four and um, can set t stop equals to 100 and this in sampling time or the step size of the simulation just set it as previously t t stop divided by thousand and then we have these options here i guess this is uh, all we need um, Yes, we need to just set these constants, oh, sorry, these variables in our model. So we go back to our model. So here we have the, this force. You can just double click on this step block. So the step time, we, should, we call have this variable t uh, step. We call it t step f. The initial value, we call it f0. And the final value we call it f1 like this and then you can just click ok save the model go back to matlab and run our simulation so just click the run button of course you need to save it first so we call it mass spring and damper matlab example and then we run it and then when the simulation is finished we can just go to our model click on these different scopes yeah there was some error in our block diagram when i ran the simulation so i see here now instead of this um, product um, block we should use the divide block Let's find the divide block instead. And then the output should go there, um, like this. So let's try the simulation now in, uh, in MATLAB. We'll run the simulation, go to our block uh, diagram in Simulink, and open these scopes. So this is the position x, this is the speed. Here we have the um, acceleration, like this, and here is the, the force. Then we can easily um, go to our um, MATLAB mo model, uh, sorry, MATLAB script, and to change values, you can change the mass from 20 to 50, and then run the simulation, and then we can uh, go to our sc uh, scopes to see the changes in in the plots like this so using this uh, model driven um, approach you can easily change and uh, the model parameters and the simulation parameters in this script and then you can instantly see the um, simulation results in these um, different scopes 
So that's all you need to know about uh, Simulink. How you can create um, uh, mathematical models as uh, block diagrams using Simulink, and how you can do, use this model-driven approach by uh, creating the model parameters and the simulation parameters in a MATLAB script. So good luck with the uh, Simulink.